All right, so here's another PNG to SVG uh, workflow. This one's going to be slightly different because if you take a look at this image we have, is it's got more than you know two or three colors. So because of this shading, uh, we have to do a, an intermediate step, which is actually take this into Photoshop, which this process is very similar to what I would do with a regular photograph, which we'll get to. So learning these steps kind of helps ease you into using a, a photograph when we get to that particular spot. So same idea, I'm gonna right click on this, I'm gonna save that image as uh, a PNG, all right? So I've already done that, I've downloaded it, um, and I'll just go ahead and save that. So then I'm gonna go this time, like I said, into Photoshop. So I'm gonna, instead of starting going into Illustrator, we're gonna go right to Photoshop, I'm gonna create a new image. Same thing, I have this 12 by 12 and you can adjust the DPI. Um, 150 is probably good for what we're doing. And same thing is I'm going to take that image and we're going to drag and drop it into Photoshop. So here it is in our Windows File Explorer. And I'm just going to take it, drag and drop it in. And again, we can scale it in Photoshop. It's a little easier. You can see that I can scale it and bring it up. You can see it looks like it's pixelating, but when I select that, it'll clean it up a little bit. So now that we have that, a couple of things we do with the layers is I get rid of this background layer. So we just come in here and right click on that and delete that layer. And now we're gonna come in here and we are going to do a couple other things. I'm gonna go up to the image and the adjustment and I'm gonna use this threshold. And this is really the key to converting these images. So when you can see when I do that threshold, it actually cleans it up, okay? If I was to bring this into Illustrator without doing this, it's very difficult to convert this to a black and white image. You get some extra stuff that you don't need. So with this, you can come in here and I can adjust. You can see that by doing this, it, it changes the color of the image. So usually the default's pretty good. Maybe, you know, if you wanna get a little bit sharper, you can adjust it a little bit and then click OK. And then you can do this here or you can do it in Illustrator. I'm going to go ahead and click on that, like this magic wand. And you can see here there's a tolerance, which is set to 50. So what this does is it picks up any of the white color, which is what I selected. And if I hit the delete key, it'll delete that. Another thing that you run into is it's got to be it's a smart object, so what I need to do is right click on the layer, rasterize that layer so it now is a, a raster layer. Now I can delete that shape. Now I can also do this here. Um, you can see just by clicking in the white, it gets rid of the white, leaving me with just the black. And now I'm going to go ahead and save this. So it's going to come up, it's going to ask me to save it to my computer. And we'll just call this HO. Have that as a saved Photoshop. What's nice about the Adobe products is I can go right into the Illustrator. And instead of importing or exporting, I just go ahead and open up that Photoshop file. So if I do this, actually let me go back to Photoshop, make sure I saved it in the right spot. Let's do a save as. On my computer, where did I save it? Oh, I saved it in the wrong spot. So there it is. So I'm just gonna drag it into this other folder here. Needed to make sure I put it in the right spot. So let's go back to Illustrator. Sorry about that. And now when I look under sports and we look at the date, there's the Photoshop, right? So when I open that up, I'm just gonna click okay to this. And now I've got a nice clean image that I can go to the properties, pick on that image, say image trace. This time I can do black and white logo because I'm not doing three colors. It's just black and white. Now it sharpens up the edges, makes them clean. I'll expand and then I can go into the layers. And if there are any white layers or paths, 
we go ahead and get rid of those. So I'm just going to come in here and delete those. Delete that one. And then delete this one. And now I've got that file. And just like I did in the previous video, I'm going to go to File, Export. I'm going to export as an SVG, a PNG, or any other file format. So if I come in here and say SVG, I'll click Export. And now I've exported out that SVG file that I can bring into my other applications.